Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture. Here I am explaining how the programming assignment 2 is going to be solved. In the previous video, I have given the code for full adder, 2 bit full adder using half adders. So that can be also done by using a full adder module, 1 bit full adder which is designed using 2 half adders. And then we can instantiate that full adder uh, as a sub block in the 2 bit full adder module and also we can solve this uh, problem ok. So let me tell you how actually the code is going to be written and how this satisfies the condition given in this particular uh, problem. So here they have asked to implement a 2 bit full adder by instantiating a half adder module and they are uh, given which is designed previously in Q1 that is the half adder which is designed in Q1. And we can instantiate this half adder module as many times as required, they told. But there is no restriction that we need to use only half adders. We can directly use a full adder which is designed using half adder. You can observe here, I have designed a full adder using two half adders. This is the first half adder with name H1. This is the second half adder with name H2. And I, I am using this full adder now to create a 2 bit full adder. Just it is a ripple carry adder for 2 bits. Okay, this is also satisfies the condition. Uh, you can see I am giving compile and run now. Uh, if this satisfies all the four cases of inputs they have given, uh, see for these all uh, the expected outputs 1, 2, 3, and 4th case, all the cases are passing here, right? So, this is enough uh, for this particular uh, programming assignment. This is the easiest method you can go with. In the previous uh, video, also you can observe where I have not designed a single full adder, in place of full adder instantiation, I have used half adder itself. I have instantiated four half adders and designed this uh, full adder 2 bit. You can also go with this method. 